I'm gonna do it. I've been waiting to do this video for a long time. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kyle here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this summer is gonna be freaking crazy. Anyways, I have been wanting to do this video for like four years. What is it? Gold prospecting at Home Depot. Oh yeah, that's right. Gold prospecting at Home Depot. I'm on my way now. We're gonna go pick up some sand and then I'm gonna classify it all down and then put it through the blue bowl and see how much gold we get out of one bag of sand from Home Depot. Because Lord knows it takes about 20 hours to do a bucket through the blue bowl. So we're only doing one bag. Stay tuned, I'm on my way there. I'll see you guys shortly. Here's the new Goldmobile. We made it. I'm really curious on what state the sand is from, but we're about to find out. All right, they had two different types of sand. The aisle was busy. I didn't get to look much, but we'll take a look at these when I get out of here. All right, we got one bag of quick crete, all-purpose sand. Looks like it is from Atlanta, Georgia. And then we have the same thing, Quick Creek Premium Play Sand, and this one is from Atlanta, Georgia as well. I have a feeling this is the same sand, just in a different bag. Leaving that there. Let's go find some gold. Guess I'm gonna need my keys. Whew, buddy. It is so hot outside. I was gonna hike a creek today, but I'm still sore and beat up from making this nature trail for this guy. Shouldn't have done, because it took all my energy. And I got hurt. I've been hurt for days. Multiple tick bites. I probably had like 23 tick bites. 23 ticks on my back when I got home that day. Whew. One thing I have noticed, I've been helping out a lot of people. I haven't been helping out myself. So I'm cutting some ties, you know. Anyways, I got the sand. Let's get home and go uh, set up the recirculating system and see if there's any gold in, in uh, what are those things I just bought? Uh, the sandbags. <laughs> and shout out to Clash Guitars. He made a video just like this. And um, I am totally taking that thumbnail, buddy. Can't even get any better than that one. I don't even know what thumbnail I would use other than that one. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Clash. Love your videos. Your content is awesome. See you guys soon. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, we got our sand, the all-purpose sand, and then the play sand from the same exact quarry, I believe. Let's see the damage on that. The damage was $8.64. Got the spoon. And we're ready. I love how I said, I'm just gonna do one bag, but I walk out of the store with two. 
but I'm gonna fill this bucket up with material um, after I classify it with this. Just a kitchen strainer I bought from Walmart. This is like 15 bucks. I guess it's made out of gold or something, who knows? But anyways, I'm gonna put the material in there, just shake it over this bucket, fill it up, then we're gonna run it and see if there's any gold. Just putting a little in the strainer at a time and just shaking it down. I'm shaking it enough where if there was gold in this, it would go to the bottom and it would fall out. That would happen within the first 25 seconds probably. Looking good so far. This is going to take forever. It's getting a little dusty in here too. Hook right there. 
Now I'm not so mad about that $15 I spent on this. So today, we're just gonna do this bag right here. And it, this is the Quick Crete Premium Play Sand from Atlanta, Georgia. This is also from Atlanta, Georgia. We'll do this in another video. So we'll take this time to take a nice pause so you guys could subscribe to my channel so you guys could watch out for that video with this bag of sand. And we can compare and contrast what bag has more gold in it. Did you guys click the button yet? Click it. Click the button. Freaking tiring, man. Got around my mouth. We're almost to the bottom of the bag. So that's good. This is the last of it. All right, there's all the material that did not go through that classifier. That's a five gallon bucket right there. This is like a 1.5, maybe a two gallon bucket right here from Academy Sports Outdoor, one of them little guys. But uh, it's halfway full. That's pretty heavy. Obviously because of sand. Duh. Anyways, let's start running some material through this thing. I'll slow this down a tad bit. So we have an inch on each side and then we'll begin and here's the first spoonful don't forget to break that water tension you can use jet dry or Dish soap, doesn't matter, it does the same thing. We want that sprocket effect, which is right there. So we know it's working well.
beautiful. It's hungry. All those blonde sands just got done with the sprocket effect. It's just climbing up that cone. It's like a blonde sand tornado right now. Oops. Hi, bye bye. All we got left.
Here she goes. Let her run for a little bit and snuff all that stuff up and put it under a microscope. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the water flow and the power. Let that drain down. We got a brand new snuffle bottle. Water is pretty dirty. Get everything in this bottom right here. got some material in the stuffer bottle and we still got some in the blue bowl itself. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a pan. Got that in the pan. Now let's get this in there. All right, moment of truth. I know I saw some in there in the beginning. It had to have accumulated over time, but we'll see. Some larger pebbles snuck through. See some black sand up there. See some gold right there. Oh, wow. Nice. That actually worked better than I thought. Holy crap. It's like I was going to the creek for a day. Take the GoPro off the tripod. Okay, we'll get it out here. There it is. Look at that. There's at least 60, 65 colors in there.
Wow, that is freaking awesome. Let's take a look under the microscope now. This is the handheld microscope I'm going to be using. I bought this off of Amazon. It was like $10. But it's a pain in the butt to get it on there. But I'll do it anyways. Okay, I got the gold in the pile. Well, most of it. There's still a couple little fly poops around there. But just so we can get a better view and see what it actually looks like. Sorry about my insubordinate dogs in the background. Looks so big under the microscope. This is the best we're gonna get it. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that gold is really pretty. Looks so pure. So there is gold in the sand at Home Depot. And it's really pretty. Look at that little pile. Let's see if I can find a coin. So we could do a size comparison. There we go, I have a dime. There's the dime. Look at that piece. The thing is chunky. Awesome. Flat out awesome. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, it helped me out a lot. And the summer's gonna be freaking insane. I got a dredge on the way, so we're gonna get a bunch more gold. And there is gold in the sandbags at Home Depot. I still have to go through that bag as well. We'll do another video on that. Stay tuned in and so you don't miss that one. And then maybe I'll go to other stores such as Lowe's or Menards or whatnot and see if they have any different types of sands from you know maybe another state or so. Check that out as well. Anyways, as always, I will see you guys on the next adventure.